How's it going, Jigs, mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're back with Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. Quite a fancy name for a Yu-Gi-Oh! game, if you ask me. I don't even know what a troubadour is, and I barely know what a nightmare is, and I barely even know what the English language is, but there you fucking go. I studied English literature to not know anything about it. Anyway, previously, we leveled up for the first time. We are now a level 2 duelist. Now, well, I'm going to kind of use the... the level up money I got, buying new cards, getting good at the game, etc, etc. Um, I don't know if anything's actually been unlocked anywhere. I might have even got a new, like, dual pack, maybe? Maybe Grandpa will say hello to me. Actually, maybe there'll be something new in the dual table. I mean, I don't really care about the dual challenges and shit, but, you know, there might be something fun here. Uh, oh, the there are a few new ones. Well, I might do some of that, because the Penguin's Revenge, that sounds kind of fun. So, I'll do that at some point. But first things first, let's see what new stuff we can get. Is there any new booster packs? No. Well, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised by that. Okay, what am I interested in getting? Uh, none of the above. Well, I, I don't know, like... I kind of wouldn't mind getting a Shadow Ghoul. Because of all the, like early before synchro or you know when the game like, was more about special summoning again and again and again I feel like Shadow Ghoul was a pretty decent monster but I'm not sure how much I'd use him oh you know what? I'm just gonna go fucking potluck um 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 yes <laughs> of course I would choose that one yes perfect absolutely exactly what the doctor ordered what did I get Shit, shit, mm, shit. Oh! Okay, well, I got Shadow Ghoul, which is nice. Uh, I might add him eventually. It'd be decent having the deck. You know what? My heart's set on Harpy, ladies, so. Why is there a blank space there? Um. Okay, is it me, or have those blank spaces started to appear? Okay. I mean, if I get all the booster packs, does that mean I have all the cards? Or does it mean that they're just going to restock? It's just like a special effect thing. Alright, I'm not going to think about it. But I am going to try and see if I can get through these, like, spaces now. Right. Uh, no. Yeah. So, okay, there was actually a few decent ones there. I know Juraguma is okay. But I don't want to reduce my life points by half. But, well, that's sick power, though. Uh, so, uh, okay, that's not bad. I don't think I'll really use any of those, though. Uh, another one. Anything else I could get? Anything else I might enjoy? No. No. Mm. Okay, so I don't think there's anything I actually desperately want to add to my deck here. Maybe there's just, like, a kind of... Like... I'm, I'm not really enthusiastic about any of these cards yet, because none of them have, like, cool effects. It's not like I've got, like, a man to bug or some shit. Or, like, I'm there, so they don't actually just think really cool. I've just got kind of mediocre monsters, and I really don't have booster packs that can help me get good monsters. So I'm not going to worry about it too much at the moment. I just kind of wish I had better stuff. Um, but I am going to do a few puzzles. I'm going to go through these two. They can't be that bad. What's the Penguin's Revenge like? Probably going to have like a penguin knight, isn't it? And a penguin soldier. Right, winning this turn. That can't be so hard. Oh, well, that's going to be easy. Flip. Now, who do I get rid of? Uh, do you wish to return? Yes, I do. So, I'll probably have to get rid of the... Wall of Illusion, probably. Yes, I do. I'll get rid of one of the elves. Cool. Now... I need to sacrifice some shit. Probably get a Dark Magician out. Yes. Wait, can I go back? No, um, I need to calculate this so I don't fuck this up. Because I have a knack for fucking things up. If I did sacrifice that, that would go down to 1100. Okay, so I wouldn't win then. But if I sacrificed a Steel Ogre to get rid of maybe a Mushroom Man... Have I done goofed somehow?
No, there must be a solution here I'm just not seeing. So he lose 600. I'm going... Oh, no. Have I actually messed this? Damn it, this was meant to be an easy puzzle. I mean, I could... The best way to get more attack is to... Well, it's to be some County Guardian, but there's this guy in the way. There's still Logo Grotto I could get out, which is one sacrifice. But that wouldn't be enough to get past. I think I've messed this up, to be honest. But I don't know what I was really meant to do. So I'll fucking... Oh, unless I... Oh, uh, no, wait, I actually have fucked this up. Okay, I think I realized what I was meant to do. No, I don't want... No, I, I surrender. I surrender. I'm too bad at this game to play it. Yeah, Grandpa's shocked and literally... Yeah, okay. I needed to keep the Wall of Illusion there, I think. So, yeah, you're all cool. God, these puzzles are really good, though. They're actual brain teasers. I never really thought you could do this with Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, let's think about this properly here. So... If I did attack the Wall of Illusion, then I must have go back to my hand and I'd get a power boost. So I think, flip this, I could be completely wrong here. Uh, yes, I do. Feck off, Gemini Elf. Uh, feck off other Gemini Elf. So go, go back, bitches. Um, then I gotta sacrifice someone. So life point wise, it makes the most sense to get... Yes, I do want to do that. Uh, my penguin soldier out of the way. Sorry, penguin soldier. You're being sacrificed to the gods now. Then phase. Battle. Fuck up that wall. Sorry, Donald Trump. No walls in my life. Don't want that shit. Bit of an outdated joke, but fuck it. Okay, you go back to my hand. You, you go to the graveyard. Do I have enough attack now? Oh, just barely. <laughs> cool. Well, I guess that was the only solution, to be honest. So, that, that actually did take a bit of time to think about. But I am an expert. Grandpa looks stoned there for a second. Grandpa's also dead now. But hey-ho, good for me. And my wavy mushroom man continues to be high on drugs. Yay. Yep, you're out. Grandpa continues to be stoned. Yep, I am successful, aren't I? Do I get, like, loads of good shit for that? Well, I mean, with the next challenge, I could get another booster pack. You know what I didn't actually think about? If I did do the tutorial, would I get that much, like, Kyber Court points? Because if it got me, like, 100 a tutorial, that wouldn't be a terrible thing. Like, I could just skip through it and just get loads of th free points. Okay, let's try this, one, this, like, challenge first, though. So, when this, oh, this is going to be annoying, isn't it? All right, uh, so loads of, uh, All right, so clearly I need to, like, change these guys to attack mode. That makes sense. Uh... Now, I am probably going to have to attack, activate shield and sword. But that's going to mean that it's going to change his attack, so it's actually good. Now, the monsters I have in my hand all increase attack by 500 for certain attributes and decrease their defense by 400. So... Um... <laughs> How the hell do I make him lose? So I think what I meant... No, because then the... Right, I'm going to try something, but I don't think it's going to work. Sorry, this is me trying to, like, Sherlock Holmes this bullshit. So... Oh, that'll actually help, actually. Yeah, that actually does it for me. So then, shield and sword. Yes, now everyone's switched around a bit. Okay, then we move to attack phase. Then, how do I do this? So... Oh. Oops. Oh, mm. 
Why did- wait, why did I lose- Sorry, what does this bitch do again? Because I don't remember. Increase the 500. Oh, okay. Did light and. Uh, right, okay. Well, you're not gonna. No, I, I've lost. Sorry, I wasn't thinking properly. I'm not good at chess puzzles, and I'm not good at Yu Gi Oh card puzzles. Yep, cool. Yeah, I've got 39 cards in my deck. I don't know why I need to know that at the end of the game. Right. Okay. So what do these other boys and girls do? So you do water but decrease fire, and you do earth but decrease wind. Now I'm pretty sure you guys are meant to attack, and I'm meant to shield and sword. I don't know when I'm meant to shield and sword though. I mean, you're a... You increased Dark Monster, so you should have been strong enough to deal with... Oh, no, but I should have sorted you, didn't I? God, where do I even fucking begin? Uh, okay. So, Starboy increases attack of Water Monsters by 500. So, if I summoned him... Use shield and sword. Yeah, okay, and then... Uh... <laughs> no, because then that's gonna have... Well, I don't know, actually. Hold on, so attack that bitch. Yes. So then they both die, unfortunately. R.I.P. guys. Um, yeah, you're dead. Look, I want to know if this works or not. I'm, I'm determined now. Get rid of the defense there. Then we have a fucking dark rabbit. Who's fucking high on drugs if you've ever seen him in the anime. So... Oh, that's cruel. Oh, no. I, I'm literally 50 life points off. How the fuck even? Uh. Great, well that's another fit. Damn it, I was so close. Uh. Right, okay, fine. Yeah, I know, I'm a failure. I haven't really done good in life. I didn't even get a fucking good me media studies grade. Okay. Alright, so what is... What's Mylas Radium meant to do? Increase Earth, but decrease Wind. Right, I have none of those, and he's weak. So there should be no reason... Because that would only increase his attack. Maybe summon that. Switch to attack. No, because that would dec Oh my god. <laughs> god, what? I don't even know where to begin with this fucking But This is actually frustrating. What the fuck do I do? Damn it, I wanted to do all this stuff in this episode. Now this puzzle's consumed me. No, I gotta know how to do it. I was so close when I used Starboy, but that, that has to be like a fake solution. Right, they have to be switched to attack. That that makes sense. Um, if I increase his attack by 500, he could take none of them on.
Wait a minute. What if I did shield and sword first? And then I summon Starboy. Ah, oh, yes, there we go. Right, now I just need to do exactly what I did before, and then all the bitches will be fucked. Ah, oh, thank God for that, and now I thought I was an idiot. So, attack you. God, that was a frustrating puzzle. But I suppose, like, Shield and Sword was always complex like that, like, knowing when to time it and shit. It's just because, like, the anime series never bothered to time their monsters correctly. So I thought I wouldn't have to time my monsters correctly. Right, get rid of that bastard. Goodbye. You're the weakest link. I killed you with a, a, a sexy, angry alligator. Cool. Then I attack with this bitch. I do have a... Oh, thank you. Okay. Right. Then I attack with Starboy. Everything's good in the club. Grandpa's dead. He's going to the hospital because I slammed him with my huge deck. And cool. Hooray. We all had a good time. Thank God for that. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> all right, fine. And I get barely any Kyber points, but... Well, I mean, it's 50. It's all right. Okay. Now, once I do, I do have some time, and there's no other challenges left, I am curious. If I did do a tutorial, and I'll do an application, I'll just start from the bottom, how much experience would I get? Let's do cannot change carp, is it? Oh, is it... Usually, I mean, I could just literally make my way through it, so does it not get me anything? Damn it, give me free stuff, Grandpa! I don't want to read all this. Right, okay, I'm not going to worry about application then. What about, what about basics? Dual, deck. Alright, well, that's basically a waste of time. Do, do I have any, can I get like maybe one more card pack? Do I have enough money for that? Oh, oh, that, oh, that's nice, yeah. One fucking point. Just one, just that's all you need. Just need to get a, a one penny off the floor. Oh, I feel like a kid that's like, oh, I can only have fucking 99p for my sweet bag. And I just, I spent over a pound. Oh, oh what a shame. I guess I can't have my fucking sweets then. And then the uh, fucking dinner, the lady behind the counter just starts tipping a few of them out. And you're like, no, I handpicked those. Give them to me. It's only fucking 10p. You've got a whole fucking shop. I just want like 10p of sweets. Alright, well, I'm going, to end, <laughs> I'm going to end the game here, or like end the episode here, and I think I actually going to, I'm going to try and take my time coming back to this game, because one, I still need to get some Dungeon Dice Monsters, and two, like, I think in this game there's probably going to be a lot of, like, casual dueling, and whilst that is fun for me, I'm wondering how much you guys would want to see that. So yeah, I am, I'm thoroughly enjoying Nightmare Troubadour, actually. It's not my favourite Yu-Gi-Oh game, because it's not that iconic, the music is a bit, eh. But it, it is enjoyable, and actually it has got some pretty good mechanics. Um, but yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself, try out the game, meet some people, own them in card games. There'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado, look up for the subscribe channel until next time. See ya.